Good day everyone, my name is Kenji S. Gabriel, a fifth year architecture student of Technological Institute of the Philippines. I'll be presenting to you a capstone design project entitled Olympico. The project is a proposed Philippine Olympic Training and Recreation Center, which is a study on national athletes' improvement through biomorphic architecture and environmental design, with the theme of exquisite, explicit, and extraordinary. Philippines has participated in the Olympics since 1924, making it the first nation in Southeast Asia to compete and bring home a medal. In a variety of sports, including swimming, athletics, boxing, and weightlifting, the Philippines excels. And this has been proven by Heidi Lindias, who recently won a gold medal in 2020 Tokyo Olympics weightlifting sports, which makes the Philippines' first ever gold medal. But since 1928, the Philippines has only won 14 medals. For all Filipino athletes, Competing in the Olympics is an excellent opportunity to demonstrate their skills and capabilities. However, the principal problem is the absence of appropriate facilities for them to use. These are the following problems observed in the area that would justify the need for the project being proposed. The specific effort that is made to keep this project is represented by the following goals. The mayor of Cebu City assigned the government of Cebu as the client. He has been given the responsibility of approving prospective developments for the entire city. And as for the proposal, the client wishes to build a one-stop sports complex that would serve as the province of Cebu's primary sports hub, especially those involved in the Olympics. In a thorough research, the project is ideal to be located in Cebu City. The city is well known for its tourist spots like beaches and serene environment, which is essential for athletes' mental health. The city also has an adequate climate all year round which makes it a perfect spot for training and improvement. The site is a 29.2 hectares reclaimed area located in South Road Properties, Cebu City. It is a corner lot abutting bodies of water which includes Cebu Strait. The site is along a proposed major road, which is Cebu South Coastal Road and F. Vestil Street. It is near to residential and commercial establishments like SM Cebu Seaside, Cebu Ocean Park, and City de Mare Hotel and Mall. South Road properties can be accessed by air through Mactan Cebu International Airport, by water through Cebu Port, and by land which can take 20 minutes travel from the airport to SRP via Cebu Cordova Skyway. The site is a flood and pollution-free area. It also has available utilities like water, power, and communication. Site Analysis The site is facing east for the view of sunrise. It provides greenery to control the noise and pollution outside of the site. It also adds cooler air, especially at noon when the heat is in its peak. Site Planning Concept Existing Route Entry and Exit Zoning Parking placement, support services, and service route. Site development plan. As per DENR, easement for reclaimed area should be 40 meters from the sea for the protection against all hazards. Vehicular flow for private zone. Vehicular flow for public zone. Pedestrian flow for private zone. Pedestrian flow for public zone. The image shows the aquatic center, indoor sports buildings, dormitories, administration building, recreational center, and multi-purpose courts for various sports. The image shows the track and field, archery, baseball field, football field, and other outdoor sports wherein the orientation of the fields are facing north to avoid athletes being dazzled by the sunlight. The following computations are based on the National Building Code of the Philippines with actual project computation. 
the chart shows that from 2017 to August 2022, there is a growth rate of 8.64% for athletes and 4.71% for coaches. By year 2032, it is projected that the Philippines will have a total of 2,030 athletes and 348 coaches. The design concept is biomorphic architecture and environmental design. It incorporates materials in a way that directly mimics the anatomy of various animals, plants, and people. Moment gives an added addition to form. It makes form a living thing. Instead of thinking of a building as something mineral, like a rock, we can start to compare a building to the sea, which has waves that move, or to a flower whose petals open in the morning. The Design Philosophy by Santiago Calatrava The design considerations are safety and security, aesthetics, circulation, privacy, landscape, accessibility, waste management, lighting, traffic, loss and standard, comfortability, and zoning. The form concept is based on whale sharks. Whale sharks symbolizes protection, focus, authority, adventure, and opportunity, which are the qualities needed for the project. Incorporating their characteristics towards the design will highlight the project's design concept. Form Translation A block which is widely used in the area due to the climate conditions it possesses. Dividing the block and incorporating the head of the whale as the facade of the building. Application of walls and roofing is based on the concept of biomorphic architecture and environmental design. The architectural character is modernism style which is an important new style of architecture and design of the 20th century. Associated with an analytical approach to the function of the buildings, a strictly rational use of new materials, an openness to structural innovation and the elimination of ornaments. The innovations of the project are hybrid turf system, which is a system when synthetic grass yarns are used together with natural grass. Sports lights. It focuses on innovation by providing efficient and cost-effective lighting solution. Lastly is Lightning Detection System, which is a system of ground-based sensors strategically placed to detect electromagnetic pulses emitted by lightning. The highlights of the project are Gallery for Hall of Famers, which is a space designed to inspire athletes, and Meditation Garden, which is a space designed to restore the mind and body which is essential for athletes. The material concept of the project are glass fiber reinforced concrete, which is a type of fiber reinforced concrete and mainly used in exterior building, facade, panels, and as architectural precast concrete. Low emissivity glass, or low E, is created to minimize the amount of infrared and ultraviolet light that comes through the glass without minimizing the amount of light that enters the building. Lastly is louver cladding which is a cost-efficient means of creating several feature walls, as well as transforming the outside of any building. It can be quickly and easily installed. It is also a great way to create a screen to hide any services on the outside. The environmental systems of the project are trees as sound barriers. These are intended to lessen the noise pollution. Rainwater harvesting. It is the collection of runoff for productive purposes. Instead of runoff being left to cause erosion, it is harvested and utilized. Daylighting systems. It is the practice of placing windows or other openings and reflective surfaces so that during the day, natural light provides effective internal lighting. Sewage treatment plant. It is a process that is similar to a way septic tank works, but mechanical components provide a process to help break down solids to produce a cleaner, more environmentally friendly effluent. The structural system of the project is space framing. It is a common feature in modern building construction. It is a truss-like, trivial stuff structure built from interlocking struts in a geometric pattern. They are strong due to the characteristics rigidity of the triangular frame. The utility systems of the project are wet pipe fire sprinkler system. With this type of system, the water is stored under pressure directly in the pipes. When the sprinkler heads detect heat, they release the water immediately. Central Air Conditioning Systems It is a system in which air is cooled at a central location and distributed to and from rooms by one or more fans and ductwork. Lighting Systems 
Adequate artificial lighting is an essential element of the sports facility and should be integrated into the design from the outset. And building management system. It is a microprocessor based controller networks installed to monitor and control a building's technical systems and services such as air conditioning, ventilation, lighting, and hydraulics. There are six major buildings in the site, which every building is divided into four main spaces, private space, public space, general services, and fire exits. Aquatic Center. The image shows the entrance and exit of users. The circulation of users. Public space, which includes lobby, pantry, and spectator area. Private space for athletes and coaches, such as shower and changing room, toilet, preparation room, meeting room, Olympic and diving pool. General services includes first aid room, admin room, toilets, PWD toilet, maintenance, and other utilities. Fire exit of the building, which is 55 meter travel distance from the entry point. Indoor sports building A. The image shows the entrance and exit of users. The circulation of users. Public space. Private space, including volleyball, athletics, and basketball training rooms. General services. Fire exit of the building, which is 52 meter travel distance from the entry point. Indoor sports building D. The image shows the entrance and exit of users. The circulation of users. Public space. Private space including martial arts, weightlifting, squash, table tennis, fencing, badminton, and Muay Thai training rooms. General services. Fire exit of the building, which is 52 meter travel distance from the entry point. Dormitory for athletes and coaches. The image above is the ground floor plan, and the image below is the second to fourth typical floor plan. The image shows the entrance and exit of users, the circulation of users, public space including lobby, hallway, and lounge, private space including athletes, coaches, and staff's sleeping quarters, meeting rooms, and kitchen, general services such as first aid room, security and monitoring room, common toilet, shower and changing room, garbage room, and other utilities. Fire exit of the dormitory, which has 40 meter travel distance from any point of the building. Roof deck includes water tank and solar panels, which are installed for sustainability of the building. Administration building, ground floor plan, second floor plan, third floor plan, roof deck, recreational center. The building is intended for public use and can accommodate up to 1,000 users per day. The image shows the entrance and exit of users, the circulation of users, public space, private space including offices and kitchen. General services in this building are the spaces required for the recreational center to function. Fire exit of the building has 56 meter travel distance from the entry point.